Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Heavenly Father, we worship you. We praise you. We magnify you. We celebrate your goodness, your grace, your power in our life. We thank you. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no one like you. Awesome God. Our healer, our deliverer, our salvation, our joy, our peace. The one who has broken down the middle wall of partition. The God who never fails. The God who can never change. Receive the glory this morning. We thank you. We bless you because you are bigger than every circumstance, every need, every situation. Bless your people this morning by the entrance of your word and by the standing in your presence. Let your people know your grace. Let us see your hand at work. Let somebody know immediate, 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 immediate victory. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. We praise the Lord this morning. We'd like to welcome everybody to Morning Glow. We trust the Lord that you have been blessed all the time you join us. And we pray that you will be blessed again today in the mighty name of Jesus. Please take the time to invite your friends. Invite people. Send out the, the, the link. Send out the link. Let somebody be able to join us today. In the name of Jesus, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. We welcome you from the four corners of the earth. We trust the Lord that it shall be well with you. No good thing will God withhold from you because you love the Lord and you are called according to his purpose. Glory to God, glory to God, wherever you are. May I encourage you to also... Let us know where you are joining from. First of all, share the link. Then let us know where you are joining from so we can speak blessings on your life in the name of Jesus. St. Paul's in Bristol. Good morning. God bless you today. Sacramento, California. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. We speak blessings on you, Maseru in Lesotho. God bless you richly today, Gulu, in Uganda. Wow. This morning, people are gathered again from every corner. May you be blessed. May you be favored. May you be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. The gates of hell will not prevail against your life. Rico Tosha Taya Radadado Kosaka Yatale. Somebody will be victorious today in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Uh, New York, USA. God bless you this morning. Stand well in stains. The Lord bless you richly. South Windsor in Connecticut, the state of Connecticut. The Lord bless you today. Work shall blessings of the Lord on your household in the name of Jesus. May you know grace. May you know power. May you know the hand of God today in the name of Jesus. Naebo Kasa. Zalerebo Koshataya. Nande Roske Taliba. We declare blessings on you. To Peter Mary's books are. South Africa, Sao Bona, God bless you today, Croydon, blessings, Richmond, Texas, the Lord bless you today, Celanti, Michigan, blessings, 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 Camberwell, South East London, the Lord bless you, Bedfordshire, blessings, Coventry, may you be blessed and highly favored today, please those who are also on Instagram, let us know where you're joining from. In the name of Jesus, Catford, Southeast London, blessings. Custom House, East London, blessings. Praise God, praise God. Romania, Bucharest, Romania. The Lord bless you today. Brixton Hill, God bless you. Eden Gardens, Nigeria, blessings. Praise God, praise God, praise God. KRCC, Cambridge. The Lord bless you today, Bloomington, Indiana. Be blessed and highly favored. 
Beaver Creek, Ohio. God bless you richly today. Natinis Nidusha, ya. Rendole Baka, Ishke Adaboka, Abel Kuta, Augustine, Nigeria, blessings. Sutton and sorry, blessings. Lusaka, Zambia, be blessed and highly favored. Uh, Western Favel in Northamptonshire, something like that. God bless you today. Dawaki Extension in Abuja. God bless you today. Ojo, Nigeria. Ojo, Lagos. Blessings. Hans, Hanslow in Southwest London. Be blessed and highly favored. Praise the Lord. Clapton, East London. Blessings. Grace, Essex. Blessings. Warwickshire. Blessings. Oswest Street. In Shropshire, God bless you richly. Uh, Hoxton in Hackney, be blessed, be favored. The Lord bless you today. Victory in your house, testimony in your house, favor in your house. Jesus' name. Nebo kata yedo karibo zeli daribari. We pray blessings on you this day. Victory on you this day. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Every mouth that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. Eden in haste, God bless richly, Portsmouth. The blessings of the Lord on you today. Silver Spring, Maryland, USA. Victory, 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 testimony in the name of Jesus. Eden, God bless you in Eden. Dublin in Ireland, the Lord bless you richly. Limpopo in South Africa, Saubona Kunjani. God bless you today. May you be highly favored. The Gambia, blessings for Jara in the Gambia. God bless you richly. Iber Village, God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Adum City uh, in Abia, Nigeria. May you be favored. In the name of Jesus, may you be lifted where you are. May you be victorious, totally, absolutely blessed. Glory, 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 glory. Poplar, East London, be blessed and highly favored this morning. May the hand of the Lord be stretched in your life and God prove himself as a mighty God in your life. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We declare victory on everybody this morning. We declare testimony on everyone this morning. We raise the bar and say God will give you victory no matter what you're facing. Stratford, East London, God will put testimony in your mouth. You will be mighty in your victory. You will be great in your testimony. Uh, they share the boza. Durban, South Africa, Saubona Kunjani. God bless you richly this morning. May you be highly favored. We'd like to welcome everybody who's joining us. We trust the Lord that this morning will be exceptional. Exceptional for victory. Exceptional for testimony. Exceptional for the outstretching. Uh, a stretching of the hand of God to show himself mighty on behalf of those who trust in him. Psalm 95, in Psalm 95, 91 verse 5 rather, Psalm 91 verse 5, in Psalm 91 verse 5, it says, do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrows that fly in the daytime. In case you've just joined us, and I want you to please go out of your way to send the link to various people. In case you've just joined us, we are taking authority over arrows, satanic arrows, arrows shot at us. Are there really arrows? Of course. There are arrows that fly in the daytime. Even God himself has arrows. He shoots at the enemy. But also, there is a good arrow with which he defends the believer. What is an arrow? An injurious weapon that has the capacity to cause damage or death on a living object. Spiritual arrows are invisible. 
attacks from the kingdom of darkness to specific targets or unspecified targets. Sometimes people have walked through a place where there are arrows, forbidden places, forbidden, a place of demonic activity. Uh, follow me to corners of somewhere like Africa and sometimes people have strategic places where they put terrible demonic sacrifices to unknown spirits. So that is a zone, territory. That's why the Bible says principalities, powers, rulers, spiritual wickedness in high places. So there are places, there are places Specific targets are those that the enemy intended to harm with the arrow. The unspecified are those who were not intended by the enemy, but the arrow got to them, that person by accident or by coincidence. You go into, you go and, for example, uh, into sexual copulation with a person who is a carrier of all kinds of demonic arrow. You've opened yourself. You've opened yourself. And so people, sometimes just get into sickness which they did not imagine there's victory this morning whether you are a specified target or an unspecified target there is one weapon that satan cannot overcome it is the weapon that overcame all demonic activity that silenced the angels that rose in rebellion and that weapon is the weapon of the blood of the lamb the blood speaks the blood conquers. The blood gives victory. The blood still gives testimony. So somebody this morning, by reason of the blood, you will have victory. You will have testimony. In the name of Jesus, you will have victory. You will have testimony. We declare and decree again that you will know the victory of the Lord. You will know the testimony of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the name of Jesus. If you're on, on, on YouTube and it's buffering or whatever, just move to another place, but do not miss the, this morning. Praise God, praise God, praise God. There's victory in the house and there's testimony today. An arrow of death, there are arrows of death. An arrow of death is the one sent to kill people before their time. Pa, the arrow is sent, and when the child was grown, the Bible says, 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 18, 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 18, and when the child was grown, it was the day that he went out to his father to the repass, and he said unto his father, my head, my head, and he said to a lad, carry him to his mother. And when they had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon, and then he died. And then he died. Listen, God does not want to populate heaven with children. If it happens, an arrow somewhere somehow had already gone out. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. The boy had no symptoms before, no sickness, no infirmity. But suddenly he cried because a flying arrow attacked his head. And in no time the boy died. That is an arrow of death. We may not know the source or the reason behind it, but you got the boy to be killed. Certainly one of the things it has done is to take away a child that is a miracle. God gave this boy to the parent by a prophetic utterance. Every time God wins in your life, Satan gets angry and he says to himself, this is a boxing bout. God has won round one. I want to win round two. But the devil will always lose on all rounds. I repeat, the devil will always lose on all rounds. I declare again, the devil will always lose on all rounds. I say one more time, the devil will always lose on all rounds. In the mighty name of Jesus. The child had no sickness, no disease. 
The child is a child of a miracle. It's a, it's a, it's a testimony. Satan was looking for ways to quench this testimony. Why should they go around testifying that in their old age, God gave them a child and the man of God to be able to, to be referred to as the one who prayed for her. Satan always looks for ways to quench your testimony, but he always fails. He will continue to fail, and in your case, he will fail again, for there will be victory in your house, and there will be testimony in your house. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be put to shame, but rather God will show himself mighty and strong on your behalf. I prophesy this morning that there will be victory in your house and testimony in your house in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh glory, oh glory. Many people are killed in this way. Unknown sickness. Sudden, they say we saw him in the morning. Or the person would just say, my head, my head. That is an arrow of death. You will not know it. It shall not touch your household. It shall not touch your children. It shall not touch your family. Many people have been killed through an arrow of death in this manner or the other. Every witchcraft arrow that hits people suddenly and you just hear the story and you scream, not your house. You will live long, you will live strong. Some people while sleeping without any prior sickness will not be able to just wake up again, but die in their sleep. Some of the ghastly motor accidents or crashes you hear of, there are arrows of darkness connected. And I'm speaking to your life today that anybody who is a person who attracts demonic arrows will not be in your company, will not be in your car, will not be in your plane, will not be in your train, will not be in your means of transport. Please say amen powerfully. A lot of miss up. Fire accidents without a meaning. Building collapse without a meaning. Flood disasters claiming life. Can produce arrow of death from kingdom of darkness. From the kingdom of darkness. And this works for where light has not been allowed to prevail. Sometimes this arrow of death can stay for a while in a person before it will eventually kill the person. So you, medicine is running around. People are running helter-skelter. The realm from where the arrow came are laughing. Unless somebody got to pray the prayer of deliverance or speak the word of God, the realm that took his life have already rejoiced. They've already, they've already, they, they're already laughing. This morning, somebody, we are reaching into the realm of the spirit and we're pulling you back. We're pulling your household back. We're pulling your family back. For instance, some people uh, attended to in the hospital have an arrow of death in their body. So they just waste money, laboratory test treatment, and then eventually the man died. Some where the medicals in their nation is not strong, they say, ah, it's the medicals in this nation that is not strong. Let's carry them somewhere else. They will not take such precious money, buy air tickets, pay for hospital where they carry them to put them in, put family members in hotels, devour, devouring, taking all. Ah, Satan is a liar. This morning we call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. Wherever you are this morning, I plead the blood of Jesus upon you. I call on the name of Jesus, name above all names. I call on the name of Jesus for your protection. I call on the name of Jesus. I call on the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, first of all, we start by rejoicing because you are God you are from the beginning to the end. We rejoice because you cannot lie, you cannot fail, you cannot change. We magnify you because you are the God who conquers, you are the God who wins, you are the God who gives us victory. You are the God who speaks and no one can question your word. You are the God who when you stretch your hand, nobody can stop it. 
Mali Pato Sumatili Rabatali. This morning we thank you. We thank you for the finished work of Jesus Christ. We thank you because you have already won victory for us. We thank you because the arrow of the enemy is made nothing on our behalf. We bless your name because from whatever corner it is coming from, you have rendered it useless. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And if we see anybody on this platform today who themselves went to the territory of darkness and sought for trouble, we thank you because mercy speaks for them. 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 We thank you because you are God. We thank you because you are God. We thank you because you are God. Because you are God. We bless your name, O God. We thank you. Your own arrow is greater than the arrow of the enemy. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 15. And he sent out his arrows and scattered them, lightning and discomfited them this morning by the power of the living Christ. In the name that is above all names, we release God's own arrows to the camp of the enemy. We release God's own arrows to the camp of the enemy. Wherever the battle is coming from, we return it to the sender. We return it to the sender. We return it to the sender. Second Samuel 22, 15, he sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning and discomfited them. Paka paka toko paka tete tara tara para tete rabako todi gaba shadibra turiska parantre kushambre turombra kirembra turose tariza karimadoda hirimarida hiridada hiribarosha talebo tareke tarabo tikaba zarobo hirade hirada hirado hiridi tarado hirida hirada narado hirada narado alabo tereba we thank you, God, because your arrow is greater than the arrow of the enemy. We thank you because your arrow is the arrow of victory for us. We bless your name. We release it into the camp of the enemy, into the camp of Satan. We scatter them in the name of Jesus. Same scripture repeated again. Psalm 18, 14. Psalm 18, 14 repeated again yes he sent out his arrows and scattered them he shot out lightning and discomfited them pakotoka peketeka rikotoka pakateketo kopakatali itaramadora where they were gathering where they were planning where they were strategizing against the child of god that is on this platform ha huh? we thank you you sent your arrows you sent your arrows you sent your arrows you scattered the camp of the enemy the gathering of evil the committee of nonsense that were planning evil against your people you scatter them. Take glory, take honor. Take glory, take honor. Leba kata ti ti ta ta lira na morosa. Igi ra bo sha ta da 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 da. Ira da 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 da. In Jesus' name, yes, God will face them with His arrow. Psalm 21, verse 12. God will face the enemy with His arrow. Psalm 21, verse 12. That therefore shall thou make them turn their back. When thou shalt make thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them, they will turn back. Ah! As the arrows of God fly into the camp of the enemy, everyone who meant to do you evil, they turn and run. They turn and run. They turn and run. They turn. And, they would not even know what is chasing them for things that <laughs> if they don't stop touching the child of God, touching the anointed of God, they will see the finger of the Lord. They will see the glory of the Lord. They will see the finger of God. They will see the arrow of God. Mayadisha, in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of jesus and if they don't stop the arrow of god will pierce them it will press in and press and, and, and strike them psalm 38 verse 2 for thine arrow stick fast in me and thy hand passeth me so for thine arrow stick fast in me and thy hand passeth me presset me so we release the arrow of God against anyone, anywhere, tampering with the child of God on this platform. We declare, we decree, Natushnomi, Katalebingaro, Ibras, Keti, Shali, arrow of sudden sickness, sudden sickness. 
They go to the hospital and we saw something and something. Something in what? Today on this altar. Yesterday we taught on divine healing. So every arrow of ill health is broken for you today. Every arrow of ill health. Sudden misfunction of organs. Sudden misfunction of organs of your body. We reverse it in the name of Jesus. We reverse it in the name of Jesus. Ah, every, every, every. Alabo, hiraba, hirabo, urama, hikaya, hirabo. Da 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 di da ba, ira ba da di di da, hikare da ba rosha, hikare da ba da da, hikare bo rodoza. In Jesus' name, ha. When I raise a prayer point, I just saw something very funny. It was like, a, it was like a tray. And it was like it was having terrible kind of food or whatever it is. And maggots were coming out of it. And I'm thinking, what is this? And I felt the Holy Spirit was saying to me, just like they do in my culture. <laughs> in my culture, some demonic people, they come up with this sacrifice they believe offends the devil. They will go and offer the devil. They say, I'm not the one who offered you. Uh, so and so person said, I should offer you what you don't want. That's the revelation I just saw. I see somebody offered into the demonic realm, provoking sacrifice to say, it's from you. Ah, this morning, anyone who carries an evil sacrifice on your behalf shall carry the consequence. The arrow of what they intended will return into their own house. We return into their own life. We return into their own house. As for you and your household, victory testimony. Anyone who carries an evil sacrifice, carrying it in your name, ah, they will carry the consequence. They will carry the result. They will carry the consequence. They will carry the result. They will carry the consequence. They will carry the result. Paradidi taradi irabara rorosha ikabanto ibarinta paralorosa kerebarata tarabarari kereberodo parikerita tarabaroshka idia hariska parosha. Ah! Let them feel the fire of God wherever they are this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And now we're going to we go and take authority against every arrow of darkness. We break their arrows in the mighty name of Jesus. We break satanic arrows. We break evil arrows. We declare them useless in the name of Jesus. Every arrow directed at your life, we break them this morning. When they send arrows against you, it shall not work. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It shall not work. When they direct arrow at your family, it shall not work. When they direct arrows at your life will break 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 in the name of jesus Nabalosaya, Ikatalara Bokota Yan Telere Boko, Ripa, Hipro, Hiskia, Hita, Hira, Hirabo, Tiraba, Hirada, Hiraba, Tarosa in Jesus' name. It isn't just the arrow that kills. It is the consequence. Many people have felt an arrow and say, well, maybe it's nothing. Then gradually it expanded. Just like an arrow will poison the blood or enter the vein or enter the bloodstream and blood flows and that is it. The person is dead or it carries poison. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 18. He had caused the arrow of his quiver to enter into my veins. He has caught the arrow of his quiver to enter into my veins. Ah! Every arrow that has entered into your vein, the carrier of blood, your veins, the carrier of blood. Abarosha! 
Nababosa, we declare total health from today. Unnecessary pain, unless things that you cannot explain, strange body movement, strange pain, strange disease. Ah, we take authority. We command your total health. We rebuke the hand of darkness. We rebuke the hand of darkness. We rebuke the hand of darkness. We command total health, total healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Alaboshayadaba. Zidaba Kotoyaba. In Jesus' name. In your house also want to take authority over arrows of famine. What is famine? When there is lack. Firstly, it has to do with agriculture, but it can be a famine of money. Ah, ah. And you are looking for money searching, you can't find. Famine of joy. Just not knowing joy. Famine of blessing. This morning we are breaking that kind of arrow in your life. Ezekiel 5, 16. When I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine. Which shall be for destruction. Which I will send to destroy you. And I will increase the famine upon you. And break your staff of bread. Jesus. This morning. If it is coming from the realm of heaven. We will plead mercy. We plead mercy. We plead mercy. We plead mercy. We soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus Christ. We cry mercy this morning. We plead mercy. We plead mercy. We soak ourselves in the blood of Christ. If it's coming from the realm of darkness, we break its power. Every evil arrow. Every evil arrow. Every evil arrow. Aina kabazon tomba kengeron tomba le atoshekate. Ay, 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 ay. Too many things just crossing my mind. Too many things just crossing. People whom I can just tell that this cannot just be ordinary. I know of a loving man. I don't want to give the illustration too clear. Oh, one of the best men I ever met in my life. Lover of God. Lover of God. Ah, amazing capacity to teach the world. Wife dies, made a mistake in the remarriage. Please, if you are a widow or widower, don't rush because of uh, partnership or sex. Let God lead you. Oh, that woman. You don't need a soothsayer. You don't even need to kneel down to know she must be a witch. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Severed the man's family built a wedge between her children and the man's other children, first children. How did he die? Some flesh in his throat. Oh. Also, you can talk. I'll make you not to be able, I'll choke your throat. Ah, this morning, I raised the bar for somebody on this altar. Wherever the arrow is coming from, and whatever our kind of arrow is shot at you, Return to sender, 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 return to sender in the name of Jesus. This morning, whatever place the arrow is coming from, return to sender, return to sender, return to sender, return to sender. Kaitaba Nikushaya Baba Zikaliboro Takiba Ronamanto every day. Tomorrow, targeted at you, it returns to the sender. It returns to the sender. It returns to the sender. Maledi Koto, Mari Kediba, Marado Rosa, Hidika Yeba, Toroma Rose, Kede Barada, Rikuto Rama, Ishandeli Mukosaya, Hida Barabo Rosa Taya, Hida da 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 da, Hida da 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 da, Hida da Babaro Rada, Hikaraba. We release the arrow of God against every evil gathering. Ah! She fought the man, the whole of the marriage for the next couple of years. Oh, when his first beautiful, loving, godly wife died, this woman was just a disaster. Disaster. 
disaster. Ah, this morning, anyone who had meant to hurt your destiny and finish your journey in an unceremonial way, I take authority today. I release arrows of God into their camp. Arrows of God into their camp. Arrows of God into their camp. I declare your victory. In the name of Jesus, testimony follows you. Favor follows you. Blessing follows you. Irabo shayada. Kale shenebo zulo buradi. Karebo so talaribada. Idaro shayide kibarita si. Ma baro talika baro sandayilari. I speak victory into your household. I speak blessing into your life. I speak defense from God into your life. Wherever the arrow is coming from, God will scatter it. God will cancel it. In the name of Jesus, there is victory in your house. There's testimony in your house. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare victory this morning. We declare victory. We declare victory. We declare victory. Arrows of darkness fail for you. Arrows of Satan fail for you. Arrows of shame and embarrassment. Wherever the arrows are coming from, they fail for your sake. In the name of Jesus, God gives you the victory. I declare this morning, God gives you the victory. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, call your friends. We are about to take on those many arrows I mentioned, and we're about to begin to break them one by one by the decree of heaven. Remember again, every arrow that we are talking about, we're talking of spiritual weapons. And since science made the mistake of saying there is no spirit realm, it has never been able to try to research and even understand the spiritual realm. It just says it does not exist. So since it does not exist in the microscope or in the laboratory, and of course, can you see things in the laboratory in the spiritual realm? Therefore, damage is done, but they can't see. So this morning, arrows that are weapons of darkness, they are broken in your life in the name of Jesus. Say amen powerfully. Every high-graded weapon from Satan's armory is called an arrow. We break it in the name of Jesus. Say amen wherever you are. Enemy's popular weapon, the most popular weapon, is arrow shot from darkness. So people just don't know where it came from. Ooh, bah, it just happened. Man, man of God in his car on his way somewhere suddenly begins to shout. Before his PA and driver could understand what's going, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. And you may say, ah, maybe he wasn't going for a medical check. I've seen those who are themselves medical person die like that. Ah, we declare victory. We declare victory. We declare victory. We declare victory. We declare testimony in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are this morning, I want your amen to be powerful as we begin to take authority over this weapon, these arrows. Wherever you are this morning, Abale Shakaya, every arrow of strange infirmity. I said, I don't know where it's from. Somebody help me. Ah! We, we know where it came from, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But principle, the Bible did not keep us in darkness. Every strange infirmity that has struck your household, struck a son, a daughter, a wife, somebody in your household, we break the power in the name of Jesus. We break the power. 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 We break the power in the name of Jesus. We declare your victory. Strange infirmity, wherever it came from. Ilebalo todasha, ikele barama kusompia, ilera matali kibironta, likera barato sulo barita, ibara natali kibarononta, alibara tuvuna kava kaseti yata, ibara dada bara kiti dodo toro barakata. Every strange infirmity, anywhere they sat in darkness to shoot that arrow, he returns to the sender. 
anywhere they sat in darkness to shoot that arrow, it's, it returns to the sender. It returns to the sender. It returns to the sender. You shall not be afraid of the arrow that flies by daytime. Arrows that fly by daytime. Arrows that fly in the day. Psalm 91 verse 5. Hey. Hey. He said, I will rescue you from every trap. Protect you from deadly disease. They are all arrows. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Don't be afraid of the terrors of the night. Terrors of the night. Zechariah calls them wolves of the night. Those demonic entities that, that chastise you in your sleep, sometimes pressing you down. Not the arrow that flies by day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness. The disease that stalks in darkness. Not the disaster that strikes in midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, ten thousand dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. Why? Because I love verse 9. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the most high your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be afraid that we're dealing with arrows. Because some of you say, oh, so these things exist. Hey, you are covered. It is that fear itself that the enemy wants. Because fear is an access door for the demonic realm. That's why the Bible says God has not given you the spirit of fear, but that of boldness, power, and the sound mind. There are extremities. There's an extreme of not acknowledging the arrows and acting, I'm highly high, I'm above, I'm not under, and you're not taking authority. There's also the other extreme of, oh my God, arrows are everywhere. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You are a child of God. Ah, if it cannot conquer Jesus, it cannot conquer you. <laughs> Didn't you hear Psalm 91 verse 13? You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. Let them come. He that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. That's the truth. It cannot invalidate. It cannot negate. It cannot change. It cannot be canceled. It cannot be abrogated. Marcos Kapia Atushtalidaba. Every arrow of darkness targeted at your household, they destroy themselves. They cancel by the hand of our God. Receive your victory. 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 Strange infirmities are broken in the name of Jesus. Say amen wherever you are. Now we take on unexplained hardship. Hardship that doesn't make sense. Inexplicable hardship. When people want to help you, that's when they themselves need help. Suddenly, they had everything. They want to help you. They either just find too many things come up, or even their own resources dry up. Inexplained hardship, we break its power from today. God will make your life easy. He said, Come unto me, all ye that live under heavy laden, I will give you rest. This morning, on the authority of the word of God, anybody within the reach of my voice, the short, inexplicable hardship into your life, life is just hard. I lay hand on you. I release you. 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 I lay hand on you by the blood of the Lamb, by the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary, by the one who said to tell a star, it is finished. Today, hardship is finished in your life. Say amen with power. Say amen powerfully. Powerfully, 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 powerfully in the name of Jesus. The arrows of inexplicable hardship are broken in the name of Jesus. The arrows of promotion failure, every time they want to promote you, you come down. You still keep staying in the realm of 60 fold. It was a battle to move from 30 fold to 60 fold. But then at 60 fold, you've sat forever. 
you've not been able to move to the realm of the hundredfold. Ta to i ta pre ko shkaya ima iskaya terebo torana. Receive promotion in your business. Receive promotion in your health. Receive promotion in your family. Receive promotion in every area. Ikateko sapayata. The doors that are never opened for your children will begin to open from this morning. Let them go and knock again. The door shall open again. Everyone who have discriminated against them shall begin to look at them with favor. Malishta, Idoba, Rinazikia, Irabotoshaka, Prakoso. Every arrow of promotion failure. Promotion failure. We break in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. Arrows of frustration. Each. Some people just feel frustrated in life. And if you come into their camp, they don't know the source of their attack. They target you too. They complain. Wanted to build a tent in Hackney to hold our own our crossover service. And you have to <laughs> engage the neighbors. Oh my God, you need to see them. It was like these were hungry lions waiting to eat somebody. Every anger they had with life. We live in tiny rooms. You know, you want to bring this thing here to come and make noise. We live in tiny rooms. Did I build your house? Am I the government? Deal with your issues. I'm talking now like <laughs> maybe 30 years ago. Ah, every arrow of frustration with life frustration with life some people so frustrated they're walking on the street they didn't even know cars are honking they didn't hear hey, Rosha! i break the power of frustration in your life i lose you from it so you, please say amen powerfully some in frustration they go they go wrong places they and even christians trying esoteric means esoteric means you hear that okay they are giving them some holy water somewhere to drink i don't mind if god gives an instruction during our crusade in ikurudu i felt strongly that the lord wanted for as a point of contact for the people to bring water but you go everywhere 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 one guy came to london one time full of deception everywhere he went crowd will follow him when he leaves the church will be empty i do not mock anyone but today, people don't even know where he is. Ah! KICC was the only one who didn't allow him. And I just knew. God just me. <laughs> if I don't feel led, I cannot forget. This guy was rocking London. And, and churches that wanted to experience crowd, they will bring him. By the time he leaves, everybody will live with him. Today, Everybody to have left him because the spirit was a strange one. Anyone hearing me today who feels frustrated with life, I break the grip of the spirit of frustration. The arrow of frustration shot at your life, frustrating your life, frustrating your business, frustrating your work. We destroy the arrows. We destroy the arrows. We break 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 the arrows. Kabati, Kotaba, Kabata, Terito, Parati, Tarida, Parodi, Charusha, Tarika, Parusa, Likari, Torona, Parish, Hidarabosha. Thank you, Jesus. You will not be frustrated. You will enjoy your life, your Christian life. Your fellowship with God will be awesome. The presence of the Holy Spirit in your life will be awesome. Ah, before you knock, the doors will open. Before you knock, before, before you, before you knock, the doors is always open. I just saw a revelation of an angelic presence of victory. Victory. When I saw these angels. Angels don't have to show up in white. You know, they don't have to show up in white. They just show up for whatever. Me, I'm most I think once I see a warrior or worship angel, they don't show up in white. And I'm thinking, what's this? It's a victory. So there's victory for somebody on the altar this morning. The sound of testimony will follow you. 
the sound of testimony will follow you. The sound of testimony will follow you. Ah, uh, and I don't know who, for whom this word is. I hear, I hear the word, Jesus has fixed it. Jesus has fixed it. Jesus has fixed it. Gee, if it's you, just say amen wherever you are. He has fixed it. He has fixed it. Glory to God. This morning, every arrow of frustration is broken for you in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, the arrows of, of oppression, dream oppression, you have dreams. And those dreams, in those dreams, you are always oppressed. You go to sleep, you see demonic things. You're going from one battle to the other. You fight, 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 fight. It's not over. You move from that one. You move to another thing. You climb, 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 climb. Then uh, you go to the top of it, and you're wondering, where are we going? Then you started a journey that had no road. Ah, it's an oppression from the demonic realm. Journeys that have no you're traveling, you all reach a place, you can't see the road. Those are demonic oppressions. And you're climbing and climbing, it's just, it's not reaching an end. Those are demonic oppressions. You go to a place where it is your business, but they ignore you like you're not part of it. Those are demonic oppressions. This morning, I plead the blood of Jesus against the arrow of, of oppression, even in your sleep. Ah. The fly, arrows that fly by night from today, they are shattered and broken for you. The arrows that fly by night from today, they are shattered and broken for you. The arrows that fly by night from today, they are shattered and broken for you. Ricapa, Ricote, Ricate, Rapato, Ratata, Ambrosa, Riketa, Rojeta, Bakuza, Iraba. Arrows that fly by day. Arrows that fly by day, arrows of night, arrows of the night, arrows in the dream. We destroy them. We cancel them. Ah, you should be having visitations from God. Enjoying visitations. God opening your eyes to see realms of greatness, realms of favor. You need to be seeing night visions. God coming to you in the night season, speaking to you. Everything that is beclouding you daytime is receiving solution in the night time. That is your portion. You want to know where do I go next? God visitation. In the name of Jesus crying to God, where do we go next with our crusade? And two times, a preacher from the city, who is also an evangelist, comes to me in the night season and said, come, we're waiting for you. And then I said, I need a third witness. And another one comes from another, from another part of the world. I said, you should go to that place. This morning I prophesy, I prophesy, I prophesy oppression in the dream realm. The arrow of oppression in the dream realm, we cancel by the blood. In the name of Jesus. And the only time science dabbles into dream, which is psychology. They now call it parapsychology. And they try to misinterpret dreams and say dreams are just things that come because you did this, you did that. They are things you have thought about that they are in the realms of your mind. Oh, really? Oh, really? How about the deja vus? The things that I could see that I have been there before. I have seen it before and I can predict the next thing that happens. How about the ones which I saw clearly and it, it happened? Ah, this morning. Every, 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 every oppression in the dream realm, every arrow that is shot at you is broken in the name of Jesus. This morning in the name that is above all names, anybody who has on their body the arrow of the mark of hatred anywhere you go they just hate you they don't want to give you a job they just can't they don't just they just don't want to give you a job and you didn't know it's a mark of hatred that have been put on you and you can't understand ah we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus against the mark of hatred. We plead the blood of Jesus. The arrow of the mark of hatred is broken for you this morning. The arrow of the mark of hatred is broken for you this morning. 
The arrow of the mark of hatred is broken, he's 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 broken. The mark of hatred is broken. The arrow of the mark of hatred is broken. The arrow of the mark of hatred is broken. The arrow of the mark of hatred is broken. The arrow of the mark of hatred is broken. The arrow of the mark of hatred is broken. The arrow of the mark of hatred is broken. Everywhere you go, let people begin to come to you. Let ten men hold your trouser and say, be my friend. But that's the word of God. It says, and the day shall come when ten men shall hold the trouser of a Jewish man and say, be my friend, for we have heard of your God. Jewish man, there is Old Testament, New Testament, you are Mount Zion. I prophesy unto your life the day when men shall hold your trouser, for they shall see the goodness of God in your life. They shall see the favor of God in your life. They shall see the blessing of God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, every mark of hatred is washed away with the blood of Jesus. Anywhere where you have been pierced with the arrow of the mark of hatred, with the arrow of the mark of hatred, with the arrow of the mark of hatred, we cancel it today. People will see you and come. When you have the arrow of the mark of hatred, you open shops, somebody doesn't want to come. You look beautiful, nobody wants to marry. They just run. They just, they just, something chases them away. victory. Anyone who sent these arrows we are mentioning, return their camp. We return it to their family. We return it to their life. As for you, go out today and be blessed. Go out today and be favored. Go out today and be lifted. Go out today and be victorious. As for you, go out today and be above only, never under. As for you, go out today and prosper in everything you lay your hand on to do. As for you, go out today and be favored by the Lord. As for you, go out today, let goodness rise for you. Let grace rise for you. As for you, as you, de as you go out today, your, the Lord will make you head and not tail. Deuteronomy 28, 13. The Lord will make you above and never below. Deuteronomy 28, 13. Today, today, I declare you can do all things who, through Christ who strengthens you. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I speak into your life today by the stripes of Jesus. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Totally healed. Totally delivered. Sickness shall not stay in your house. Only health. Only joy. Only blessing. Only favor. Akotika Pikrinosia. Matthew 5, 14. You are light. You are a daughter of light. You are a son of light. Darkness shall not prevail. The darkness is over. 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 Colossians chapter 1, verse 12 and 13. You are delivered from the power of darkness. No! Satan cannot prevail. Only Jesus prevails in your life. For Isaiah 54, 17. Weapons formed against you shall not prosper. Arrows put together against you. Arrows of the mouth. Arrows of the mouth. People and their tongues with which they lacerate people. They lacerate people with their tongue. Exodus 11, 7. Isaiah 54, 17. I go into the realm of the spirit. I pull their tongue. Everyone who has spoken against your peace, your joy, your destiny, your health, at their tongue. They shall be silenced in the spirit realm. They will look for them. They will not hear of them. As for you, accept the covenant of God with the Son be ended. That's when his covenant with you shall be ended. You shall always be light. You shall always be bright. You shall always be rising. You shall always be rising. You shall always be blessed. You shall always be above. You will never be under. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will richly supply all your need in this season. Philippians 4.19, according to his riches and glory, 
darkness will not prevail in your life. Only blessing is on your life. Only grace is in your life. Only testimony is in your life. Only, ab only being above is in your life. Only lifting is in your life. You will lend to people in this season. When there is a famine in the land, that is when God proves himself. In the middle of the famine in your nation, get ready for harvest. I'm ready for my 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 harvest. Philippians 4, 7. The peace. Peace. Serenity. Serenity. That makes no sense. Shall guide your mind. Philippians 4, 7. The peace that passes all understanding. Say, shall garrison, shall surround your heart. This is your portion as a child of God. Arise! You shall not bow to adversity. You will not be anxious about anything. Philippians 4, 6. Whatever need arose, the supply is on the way. Whatever need arose, the supply is on the way. Whatever need arose, the supply is on the way. Whatever need arose, the supply is on the way. Rejoice in the Lord. And again I say rejoice. Anything Satan wants to put on you, reject it. Galatians 3.13 You have been redeemed from the curse of the law. Those things don't belong in your house anymore. Satan, pack your load and go. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go in Jesus' name. That's one of those songs we learned when we were young. Satan, pack your load. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go in Jesus' name. Satan, pack your load. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go in Jesus' name. For those whom weeping has been around for some time, Psalm 30 verse 5. Joy will come in the morning. There's laughter already on the way. Oh, glory God to God. Joy will come in the morning. Joy will come in the morning, morning. Joy will come in the morning at the break of day. Praise the Lord. I'm sure you were blessed this morning. Glory, 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 glory. There is victory in your house. Testimony in your house. There is victory in your house. Testimony in your house. In Jesus' name. One or two announcements. Tomorrow, when you are joining us, get ready for communion. We are coming against all other arrows tomorrow. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to spend more time just taking authority over the arrows. Just taking authority and destroying the arrows. Make sure you call someone. Send the link. Make a vow to yourself. Tomorrow, as I receive the link, I'm sending it to five people, ten people. Send the link. I'm sending links. I'm sending links as I receive it. I usually get mine like, uh, what time is it, 5? Sometimes somewhere between 5 and 5.30, I get my own link. Okay. Sending it out. Praise the Lord. So don't forget, IGOC is around the corner. Make sure you register. Do not postpone. Do not delay. You've got to register. Don't go away because there's still a very strong confession of the word into your life which I want to make, but please remember IGOC, the International Gathering of Champions, is a premier conference in the whole of Europe. It is a conference that stands out. KRCC have run this conference for 33 or 34 years. The conference is one year older than KRCC because I came out of a church denomination. So, and I started before I stepped out. So join us, join us, join us. Pastor Depot, Uliyomi will be ministering. Tudor Bismarck will be ministering. Mensa Audubon will be ministering. Festus Adeye. <laughs> I was talking about Festus yesterday. How he so seed. Only to, for me to finish and find that he had sent the previous day and I didn't even know. Don't ask me what he sent, how much he sent. It's for me. It's for me. Praise the Lord. Samuel Pata will bless us from uh, India. Keon Henderson will be a blessing all the way from Dallas, Texas. Glory to God. Ivan Castano, one of the humblest men. Very funny. Loving too much, man. He's so, the whole set of us 
really been tremendous. They, you know, you give birth to some people in the spiritual things and they, ex they exceed your expectation. They just blow your mind. God just whoo, breathe on their walk and everywhere they enter, the nations just open up for them. Praise God. Pastor Tobias Shimlo will also be ministering. It's going to be great. This year's conference is rise. The worship will be great this year. So whatever you do, you must make sure you are there. It is going to be so powerful. It is going to be so blessed. You have heard me talking every day about what you should do with your finance. Many people do not realize that if you don't make effort to get wealth into your hand, you will perpetually serve other people's uh, vision. You, you know, the poor make things happen for the wealthy, and yet they have no power. So what is wealth? Wealth is not cars. Wealth is not fridges or furniture. They include those things. They are just manifestations. Wealth is beyond that. Wealth is more valuable than that. Yeah, wealth starts with your health. But beyond your health, wealth is you having a voice. Wealth is you being able to, to touch your nation. The wealthy are the ones who pay scientists. Can you believe? All those research you hear of, and they say, oh, they find a cure for something. Somebody gave $20 million for them to just do a research on skin cancer. Somebody who gave $40 million for them to do a research on bowel cancer. Somebody who gave $50 million. Somebody dumped $200 million in New York University to pay for any girl who wants to read medicine. That is what wealth can do. The poor have no agenda. I mentioned the other day, the poor, I mean, uh, they found research. They did research and found 500,000 people were surveyed and they came by homos uh, overwhelmingly that homosexuality, you are not born with it. That is something people think about and get into. Have you ever seen that report? It was suppressed by the wealthy. The wealthy? Forget about all those political noise in newspapers. Uh, the wealthy determine your nation. Particularly the weaker the system in the nation, the more powerful the wealthy. In all those noise about politics in the, in the United States of America and so on, somebody is financing. Financing. Even where they put laws and say money must not pass this, there is still payment. The wealthy pay scientists, the wealthy initiates what the rich pay for. Whoever wants to render you powerless can do it without if they withdraw money from you. Because without, without your money making, you have no power. Money rules everything. It rules science. It rules politics. Money fixes the church. Without it, we can't preach. <laughs> We're on television several nations. Without it, we can't do it. No station says, oh, Matthew, of God, Matthew Shimelo, come and be here for free. No, they would rather prefer the person who is, who, is, who is singing some stupid song. You know, money changed people. Money changed Judas, an apostle who lived with Jesus. Money changed him. But in the hand of the right person, you can make a difference. But it doesn't come because you just talked about it. You've got to know, and you've got to know how to have it. Join me at the Wealth Masterclass. I'll be teaching the financial pitfalls that many of us fall into, 70 of them. I can't find anybody who have not fallen into one of them, or two, or 10, or 20 some. They are wallowing in all 70 but then how to rise out of them, how to change your paradigm. Some of you, you work very hard. It isn't the hard that prospers you. Some of you, money comes, but you don't know how to multiply it. So it's in the wrong places. It's in the wrong places. Some of you, you heard somebody talks about share and shares, but you didn't know there's a difference between trading and shares and investing. You need to come this Saturday, 9 a.m. to 11, 70 financial pitfalls. 
how to rise above them and change your paradigm. He will so bless your life. He will so transform your life. If you've never joined the World Master Class, this is the time to do so. You must tell the Lord, Lord, prosper me. I don't want to give excuse of wherever I live in the world. I'm prosperous enough to register myself, to educate my mind, to be the best that I could be. That is something you can tell yourself. I close this morning by declaring, in place of all those arrows, favor will take you from grass to grace in the name of Jesus. Favor will make you an uncommon person. Favor will bring to you divine assistance. Favor will bring into your life divine benediction. May favor make you a woman of regard, a man of regard. May favor show you due consideration. People shall show you due consideration. Ka -ta 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 -ta. This day I declare that favor shall trigger divine assistance. It shall bring you goodwill. Favor will bring you excessive kindness. It shall look for you. It shall deliver you from affliction. I say again, may favor deliver you from affliction in the name of Jesus. Libobo Sayini Tali Bronosa Liberatali Nehom eleven eleven and I close is here and you Nineve will also stagger like a drunkard. You are high to for fear of the attacking enemy. But when that happens, God then says, In the middle of it, I the Lord will not show you favor. May you be shown favor, may you be shown grace, may you be shown blessing. May the blessing of the Lord never cease in your house. May your tears be wiped. So when people want to mock you, they see the hand of God in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. God bless you richly this morning. Mariva kukumbrere wa mzita ra yesu kulunkulu wa gubusis. Good morning. Saubona. God bless you richly. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember again, it's communion. It's going to be a powerful day. Send the link to as many as possible. When we have a morning glow like this, it's the kind you should go back in your spare time and just pray it again. Pray it again. Just play it and pray it. Play it and pray it. Send even the YouTube link to somebody who didn't join us. Send the YouTube link to someone who didn't join us. God bless you. God bless you.